construction of the Schrott Center is going as expected even though it began with a delay. The $13 million new Performing Arts Center will benefit all the departments within JCFA. So there will be music performances there, theater performances, dance performances, there are even plans for um, the, the, the lobby area and different parts of the theater to be used for exhibits of art. The lobby will have red carpet with a black accent color. It will have 450 seats in the audience and will feature a large enough stage for performances in each department. It is smaller than Cruz Hall but bigger than Ides and Duckwell Hall, which is what the college needed. Small in terms of the audience capacity, with still a very large stage, which is what uh, the large music ensembles need, which is what dance needs, whereas theater needs a more intimate atmosphere. This made it a big challenge to respond to the conflicting needs, but there is also a financial benefit for JCFA. Uh, contractually, every year, JCFA pays to use clues for concerts. Uh, that's money that we won't have to find in the budget every year. Uh, and it'll help other departments because they can do lectures in there instead of in clues, which will save them money. There is hope that not only students will benefit from the new facility, but outside performers as well. It'll definitely help the music department just because we have so many performances among majors, but I mean, it'll also help a lot of the other departments. And hopefully, if we have the Schrott Center, then we can bring in like outside performers and stuff, which will hopefully help the university as well. The Schrott Center is expected to be complete early next year, and the grand opening will be a gala featuring all the departments of JCFA. For the Butler Beat, I'm Ashley Davis.